Hey guys, Jim here with Shreddist. Uh, today I'd like to go over the Minesweeper tire inserts that have been running for about a year now since a lot of you guys were interested in how they performed and held up. So this isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I thought I should share my experience with a product that I would say initially sparked some skepticism for what they are, and from myself included. But ever since I've tried them out, I've made sure to put a set in every one of my bikes, and I'll explain why. I mean, it's in there, you can't see it, but... Now, I know tire inserts are a touchy subject for some reason, so there's no discussion on why to run inserts, inserts are too heavy, these aren't my brand so I hate it type of video. Just what I personally think about these Minesweeper inserts. So first off, what exactly are they? Minesweepers are a high density closed cell foam insert that you run inside your normal tubeless tire system. They're marketed to offer extreme rim protection, improved ground dampening, and run flat capabilities at less than half the cost of other tire inserts on the market today. They come in 26, 27.5, and 29 inch diameters and range in thickness from 2.2 tire widths up to 3.0. So do they do what they're advertised to do? 100% yes. I've ridden on quite rocky terrain with these from Big Sky Montana to Sedona, Arizona, my local trails in North Idaho which produce some serious shale that can make your wheels wince. But with running these inserts, my wheels have remained straight as an arrow all year. The one time all year I went riding without minesweepers installed, I ended up denting the beat of my rim on my brand new bike. I slightly cased a smaller jump, this jump to be exact, and was reminded why I tried these things out in the first place. Not only do these things add great protection, but they feel great on the trail as well. You could say that this is a very cheap suspension upgrade that makes a pretty big difference. Trail feedback and chatter is greatly reduced and tire rollover is reduced in hard corners. And just like with other inserts, you're able to run a lower PSI without worry. It really does feel like you've added more travel to your suspension and upgraded your valving for a ride with more compliance and traction. I've also tested the run flat capabilities they claim firsthand, and it definitely does work. No, you won't be riding full speed back down the trail, but after losing all the air out of my back tire from a puncture on dry sealant, I was able to ride back to the truck at a slowed pace instead of making a sad, slow walk of shame all the way down the trail. Let's start a timer. Installation of these is extremely easy, basically no harder than installing a plain tubeless setup. When I ran these for the first time, I used a standard amount of sealant that you would use on a regular setup, but after toying with them over the season, I'd say adding about 20-25% to extra tire sealant is a good idea. Since they take up a good amount of volume in the tire, it can restrict the movement of the sealant a bit, so adding that extra gives you plenty of coverage to keep your tires plugged up tight. So there you go, 25 seconds and this insert is ready to roll. The biggest fault I found with these minesweepers is the same fault that you would find with other certain inserts, and in that they're a pest to air down your tire if you have traditional tubeless stems. It's no deal breaker, but sometimes it can be bad enough that you have to remove the core and stick an allen key in there to open the airway. If you want a flawless setup, these Kush core stems solve the issue in a pinch so it might be worth your time to pick up a set of these. So what don't you get with Minesweepers? Well, the product itself isn't the prettiest. They've strictly focused on the functionality of the product rather than the fit and the finish. I see this as an advantage though, as they can keep costs down without worrying about wasting money on fancy packaging or making a product look polished that lives out of sight in a tire anyway. It gives kind of a no bull vibe, which I can appreciate. Happily though, every set I've ever gotten comes with free stickers. I mean, who doesn't like that? I've also heard a lot of, why couldn't I just go to the hardware store and buy my own foam for cheaper? I mean, you could, but I wouldn't know what foam to buy and how dense it should be. I trust that Minesweepers have done their research and testing to get you the best working product at the best cost possible. And what is that cost? At 50 bucks, these are priced well under the other inserts on the market and are cheaper still than replacing a blown up hoop. You could pay a premium on a product with a little more fit and finish and better packaging, but for function's sake, I think you're getting the same value as the more expensive brands, especially since it's a product that lives out of sight inside your tire, and its real value speaks out on the trail in performance and protection. Woo! It's all rocky! 
Again, since trying these out, I've been running them in all my bikes because I really do think they work and they work well. I would definitely love to try out a back-to-back -back test with these up against other leading inserts because Woo. I do think they're a contender for one of the better options out there. Nice. Good job. <sighs> so this review isn't meant to try and sell you Minesweepers, but rather just share my personal experience with them because there's not a ton of info out there on them. Would I recommend them? I mean, yeah, definitely. I've been using the same set for a year now, and while they do show some wear, they're still kicking. So with that, I hope you guys found this little review insightful, and if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more content like this, trail building, party laps, hit subscribe. And also, if you guys have any questions about these inserts, go ahead and leave them down in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for stopping by again today, you guys, and until next time, keep that rubber side down.